Hello everybody. On this video, I will show you how to install fresh copy of Windows 10 latest version using USB drive step by step. If you have any issue with your Windows or your computer won't boot, clean installation of Windows 10 from a USB will help you to fix that. This method will fix all errors related to Windows operating system and your computer will restore its health. However, you will lose all your installed apps, games, and all files inside the Windows partition. So, you will need to back up all your files and drivers from the C partition before doing that. Video Contents Downloading Windows 10 Latest Update Creating a bootable USB of Windows 10 Booting from the USB Installation Steps, including formatting C partition and creating new partition Before we started, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel to encourage us publishing more similar videos. First Part how to download Windows 10 ISO file from the official Microsoft website for free without media creation tool. Open the official website from the links in video description. Click on the three dots in the upper right corner of the Google Chrome browser. Select More Tools option then click on Developer Tools option. Click on these three dots then select Network Condition option. Uncheck Select Automatically option. Select an Android or another user agent from the list that does not belong to Windows. Reload the page to show download options. Select the Windows Edition then click on Confirm icon. Select your desired language then click on Confirm icon. Click on 64-bit download to start download. Notice that the link will expire after 24 hours once created. Second part, how to create a bootable USB drive of Windows 10 from the ISO file downloaded previously. Open the official page of Rufus Tool from the links in video description. Download the portable version of the Rufus Tool. Open the tool. Connect the USB flash card or pen drive into the computer. The size of the pen drive must be 8GB or more. If you have another pen drive or memory card connected into your PC, make sure to select the desired one from the first option in the Rufus tool. Click on select button to load the downloaded ISO file. Navigate to the ISO file and load it. If you have a UEFI disk scheme, select the GPT from the partition scheme option. If you have a BIOS desk scheme, select the MBR option. Watch the video from links in description to see how to know if you have a GPT or an MBR disk scheme. Click on start icon to start flashing process. Attention, you should take a backup for your files inside the pen drive before this operation, because all data will be deleted permanently. Also there is another video in description will show you how to create a bootable USB of Windows 10 using your Android mobile. USB pen drive is ready to boot the computer from it. Third part, how to boot your computer from the bootable USB. To boot your PC from the USB pen drive into the Windows pre-installation environment, do the followings. Turn off the computer completely. Connect the Windows installation media. Turn on the computer. Once you see the manufacturer logo, press the F12 or another key from keyboard to enter the boot options. This is the list of most common keys to enter the boot menu for different brands. Move to the DVD or the USB and then press the enter button. Once you see this message, press any key immediately to boot from installation media. Select the desired language and keyboard layout. Click on the next button. If you are unable to boot from Windows installation media, you may need to disable the secure boot from security tab and or enable USB boot from boot tab in BIOS settings. In some Asus BIOS or similar PCs such as Acer or HP laptops, you have to enable compatibility support mode or CSM, in order to disable secure boot. Fourth part, installation steps of Windows 10 operating system. Click on install now option. If you have an activation key, type it into the box then click next, otherwise, click I don't have a product key to continue. As you can see, the installer stated that if you're reinstalling Windows, select I don't have a product key. Your copy of Windows will be automatically activated later. Select the edition of Windows that you want, then click Next to continue. 
In May case, I will select the Pro Edition because it contains all requirements that I need. Check I accept the license terms then click on next icon to continue. Select custom option to install a fresh copy of Windows. Select the partition that your old Windows operating system is installed on, to avoid formatting a wrong partition that may contains your important data. In May case, the Windows partition has been automatically selected, which is the highlighted one. You can determine the Windows partition by its total and or free size based on your previous usage for the PC, which usually takes the C letter. If you have only one large partition that has a size in gigabytes while the sizes of other partitions are less than 1 gigabyte, then the larger one is the Windows partition. If you can't remember which one is the Windows partition, you can determine that as followings. Close the Windows Setup panel. Click on Repair Your Computer option. Select Troubleshoot option. Open the command prompt. Type Notepad and hit Enter. From Notepad interface, click on File panel and select Open option. Click on this PC icon to show your partitions. Open the partitions one by one to see which one is the Windows partition. Windows partition will contain users folder, and inside the users folder, you will found a folder with the name of your user profile or Windows account. Determine the total and free size of your Windows partition. In May case, the C is the Windows partition and its total size is 29GB and the free size is 11.9GB. Also, you can move your important files and folders from the old Windows partition to another partition or to external drive using Notepad, because all data on the Windows partition will be lost after formatting. Close the Notepad and Command Prompt. Click on Use a Device option if you see that. Select the USB drive to boot back into Windows pre-installation environment. Press any key to continue. If these options didn't show in your PC, power off the PC and back to part 3 of the video to see how to boot into Windows pre-installation environment. As you can see, the highlighted partition is the Windows partition based on its total and used sizes. Click on Format or Delete options to format the Windows partition. This step will delete all data on the Windows partition permanently, but the data on other partitions will not be lost. If you clicked on Delete option, you have to create the partition again by clicking on New option, then click on Apply icon. If your disk is not divided, you can divide it into two or more partitions as followings. Select the partition and click on Delete option. The name of the partition will turn to unallocated space after clicking on delete option. Select the unallocated space drive and click on new option. Type the desired size for the first new partition in megabytes and click on apply icon. Select the unallocated space drive again and click on new option. Type the desired size for the second new partition if you need to create more than two partitions, otherwise, click on apply icon without changing the size. Now select the windows partition and click on next icon to start installation processes of windows. The installation processes will take about 20 minutes, but for your convenience, we have cut unnecessary parts of the video to make it short as possible. Choose your region and click yes to continue. Choose the desired keyboard and click yes to continue. Add a second keyboard layout if you want, otherwise click skip option to continue. Connect the Ethernet source if you have active internet connection, otherwise, click on I don't have internet. Select continue with limited setup to continue. Type a name for your profile on the PC and click on next to continue. Add a login password if you want, otherwise, click on next to continue. Change any of the privacy settings if you want, otherwise, click on accept option to continue. Click on yes if you have an active internet connection and Microsoft account, otherwise, click on no option to continue. Click on accept to enable Cortana assistant. Now we are done, and the Windows is ready to use. If the second partition not shown in your PC, you can show it as followings. Right click on the start icon and select disk management option. Right click the new partition and select change drive letter and path. Click on add option. Select any letter and click OK. As you can see, the new partition is shown now. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, leave a comment and subscribe.